Imagine looking at the sky and not having a word for its color. For thousands of years, this was reality. Ancient texts from Greece, China, and Egypt reveal a striking pattern. While words for black, white, red, yellow, and green abound, blue is mysteriously absent. Homer described the sea as wine dark, never blue. Why? It turns out our ancestors may not have even seen blue as we do. The color blue is rare in nature. Few plants, animals, or minerals are truly blue. Without a label for it, people simply grouped it with other dark or muted shades. Scientists believe that without a word for a color, our brains struggle to distinguish it clearly. When researchers studied the Himba people of Namibia, whose language lacks a word for blue, they found it nearly impossible to spot blue among green squares. Yet, they could detect subtle greens that most of us miss. This suggests that language doesn't just reflect our world, it actively shapes how we perceive it. Only when blue dyes became common and valuable did the word for blue appear, and suddenly, the color existed for everyone to see in a new way. This reveals how deeply intertwined language and perception truly are.